Hey guys, day 159. Here comes your daily dosage of useless facts. So today's useless fact is already did calligraphy. Cheese. Here we go. How can you govern a country that has 246 varieties of cheese? Charles de Gaulle, French general. Hmm, that's interesting. The first cheese is thought to have been developed around 4000 BC as a result of the Sumerian herdsmen storing their daily ration of milk in the stomachs of dried calf. The milk combined with the natural enzyme of renin left in the stomach and then curdled, becoming cheese. Huh. Origin of cheese. Continuing on. By 2000 BC, cheese had become a luxury item in Egypt, with recipes heavily guarded by priests. Kings were even buried with murals depicting cheese manufacturing scenes. The average American ate 30 pounds of cheese in the year 2000, up from 11 pounds in 1970. Macaroni and cheese is the number one cheese recipe in America. In any given 12-week period, approximately one-third of the population of the United States will eat macaroni and cheese at least once. About half of all children in the United States will eat macaroni and cheese during this time period. Hmm. Ooh, macaroni and cheese would sound good right now. Oh, I don't have any more milk. Chasing the cheese is one of the biggest social events in Gloucestershire's social calendar. The event takes place on Cooper's Hill in Brockworth, England, where dozens of people run down a very steep hill in pursuit of a massive 7 to 8 pound double Gloucester, uh, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, Gloucester circle of cheese. So they're chasing after cheese wheels. Well, that's it for today's useless facts. Hey, so I just got back from the movies. Uh, tonight, uh, my friends and I went to see uh, Dread in 3D. And, wow, that was just amazing. Uh, it, was, it was a really great movie. Um, at least I thought it was, anyway. Um, actually, from what the reviews I have seen, it's all been pretty good, so, okay. Uh, yeah, anyway, um, saw it in 3D, it was, I mean, the, the whole thing, from what I understand, was shot specifically for 3D, so it all worked really well. Um, with the 3D, you get, you actually, you get a, a really, really good sense of the depth of the, uh, mega city and uh, uh, you know stuff flying at you. It worked all. Re it all worked really, really well. Um, uh, okay, I I just want to say this uh, is there's this one scene at uh, near the beginning of the movie and. All I can think of at the time when I saw that scene was it's raining men because quite literally it was raining men their bodies yeah gang war type stuff drug vision's awesome yeah there's uh, this uh, drug in uh, the movie called slow-mo and it's like every time uh, they use the drug in the movie, uh, they it's like they do a uh, slow scene. So it's like, uh, have any of you ever seen Time Warp? It's a lot like that. So uh, like on Time Warp, they take this high speed camera and film regular everyday stuff, and just play it back in super slow motion, like say. Uh, a drop of water hitting a pond, okay? 
you're going to see the drop. Of, I mean, normally, when we look at it, it's like, that's it, right? But in super slow motion, it's almost like it's another world here. It's like, you know, that type, <laughs> um, that type of thing. So, it was... I really liked uh, the use of uh, slow motion and 3D right there, you know. And it's like, um, it made me kind of wonder, is this what it's like for people who are getting high? Because, wow, no wonder why they enjoy it so much. It's like, you know, looking at the, it's like uh, the world has become one giant uh, work of art. And you you are able, you feel like you have enough time to just observe it all, you know? Also, it's all pretty, and pretty and sparkly. Um, anyway, so, uh, I mean, I like this uh, Dread, and I also like the uh, Judge Dread movie with uh, Sylvester Stallone, and... I mean, and they both have their own uh, unique uh, uh, this that I really, really liked. Uh, they they both have their own uh, special charm. Uh, you know, I guess I could say. With Judge Dredd, it, they did a lot of, um, I guess, uh, ba uh, you could call it background story for Judge Dredd. You know, as like uh, he. You really get to know the character himself, you know his struggle and everything uh, he's going through, uh, everything that he's believed in, and the revolution of whatever, whatever, whatever. You know, um, with this uh, Judge Dread, I would say, uh, if I had to sum it up, it's just another day at work, because that's basically what it is. This movie. I, it feels almost like they quite literally took an issue of the Judge Dredd comic books and just turned that into a movie. That's, that's what it feels like, you know? It's, it's just another day at work for Judge Dredd. Whereas uh, with the Judge Dredd movie, it was all this, bio it's, it was like a biography uh, movie the type of deal. Well, not exactly a biography movie because that doesn't mean it was all in the past and stuff. But, but anyway, um, but you know what I mean, right? It's in the Judge Dredd movie, you're getting to know the character himself. In Dredd, there's no mentioning of his past. You're not really getting uh, to know the guy, you know. Uh, it's just another day of work for him. He's Judge Dredd. That's all you need to know. It's just like in the comic books. Uh, um, it's, I mean, it's just like you're picking up issue 57 of the Judge Dredd comic books. Flip through it. That's what you get on in this movie. It's like you just picked up a comic book. Well, I, I, I should pre uh, be uh, more careful of saying that because... Uh, I don't know if any of you might uh, get the impression that uh, it's like a, an Ang Lee uh, adaptation here, but because it's not, uh, oh, th th that was just so horrible. Um, this was really, really awesome. Um, and another thing, uh, the Judge Dredd, uh, that... I don't know the uh, oh what 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 do you call it the cinematography I suppose between the two are just so uh, different. With Judge Dredd, everything's like clean. Everything is clean, shiny, and uh, you know, clean, shiny, orderly. Uh, with Dread 3D, everything is really, really gritty. It's almost post-apocalyptic. It's 
really, really hardcore stuff here. Uh, and I feel like that this was the way that Judge Dredd was meant to be. And uh, this was something a little more family friendly, you know. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, just some of my thoughts on the Dread 3D movie. Um, would I recommend it? Uh, yeah, definitely. I would definitely recommend this movie. Um, uh, will it be for everyone? Probably not. No movie ever is for everyone, so... Uh, I don't really um, uh, stress that all too much. Uh, if uh, someone doesn't like it, someone doesn't like it. So what? There are plenty of other people who will like it. And plenty more people who won't like it, but... Such is the way it is. You can't please everyone. Hmm. I guess that's all for today then. It's getting rather late. See you guys tomorrow.